welcome back to my channel. This is B. I'm so glad you're here. I sincerely thank you all for your likes and your subscribes, your comments. I read them and I appreciate them. So I hope when you're seeing this that you're having a wonderful day or a good day or if when you're seeing it you're just making it through the day. I am very proud of you. So let's get into it. Um, what I feel for you, Leo, as soon as I started to record just before, it's like I started to hear like really, really peaceful energy you know like sound really something really really peaceful and also kind of like a scottish vibe like i got the image of maybe kilts um but something peaceful and i just a peaceful warrior too so some of you may be doing yoga some of you may just be like an energy where you're not letting other people get to you so much which is wonderful um but yeah that's what came through so let's see, I'm gonna pull a moonology card for you. There is a full moon on the 16th. Let's see what comes out. Look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. And for some of you that could have to do with not letting anyone ruffle your feathers. And the bottom of the deck we have a time to give rather than take, okay? Some of you may be doing like charitable actions, um, which is always good. You might be giving back to your local communities. Or if you've like been doing lineage, researching your lineage lately, you might be thinking about traveling to where your um, ancestors are from. It's really, really cool. Maybe uh, looking into ways to give back to the people from your, from in that area, which is really cool. All right, let's see. Let's see what you need to surrender right now. Surrender to the habit of people pleasing. Mm -hmm. This is a tough one, especially Leos, you know, you naturally shine, but sometimes I feel Leos can get caught up in the energy of, of wanting to be, um, you know, and, and wanting to be that leader that you are anyway, but you can get maybe like, pulled into an energy of doing a little bit too much and not really getting that same energy. So let's just see. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. Okay, so that could be important for some of you. And then we have some surrender comparisons with other people at the bottom of the deck here. So this could be trying to make society happy or trying to make just people in general happy so that when they look at you, they're like, oh yeah, Leo is a good person. Like Leo is legit. Like you have to know that within because you are, but it's not about if other people say it or acknowledge it. So if you're bending over backwards, just trying to get that acknowledgement, you may need to shift your perspective, Leo. Um, because you don't have to go through all that. You know, you're wonderful just the way you are, okay? Now keep your eyes trained on yourself is what this card says. Focus on your own strengths, attractiveness, and power. So some of you, there may be a need to do some affirmations. Just to remind yourself how fabulous you are every day when you wake up, how masculine you are, my fellas, you know, um, how good you are because you need to appreciate that part of yourself, you know? If you're not getting it from other people, or maybe they're just not conscious of, of the demands on you, you know, then don't be shy of feeding your own soul in that way. Let's see, what does the tarot have for my Leo Collective right now? Starting out with the Six of Wands, Leo Energy. Hey, showing up strong in your own reading. Then we have the Four of Cups. What's that about, Leos? And the Death. I'm actually not mad at the Death right here because I feel like this is a, that's a good thing. It's a change for the better. We have the Empress here. 
as the advice card. And then we have the outcome being the two of wands. This is really nice energy. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck, Leo. Queen of Cups. You could be in this energy, um, feeling really, really, I don't want to say over emotional, but I am hearing emotions by Destiny's Child right now. For some reason, it just started blasting in my mind. Um, so somebody could be missing you very heavily. Somebody could be missing you or you could be missing someone. Maybe there is like a, a connection you had in the past with somebody or just with people in general that maybe you've cut out and you've had to move away from and somebody's feeling the repercussions of that right now. And it might be you. Like, you might be like, dang, I've had to cut out some people, you know, and I feel a little bit alone. Um, and it's like, do I, I almost feel, t I almost feel like somebody is tempted to surround themselves with the wrong people just so they're not alone. So if you're feeling that way, Leo, I feel like that's why this surrender the habit of people pleasing has come out here. Because you don't have to do that. Okay, and that's why you might need some positive like self affirmations and to look at the bigger picture. Which earlier I think we got, you know, standing, standing in your power, not letting other people get to you so much. Maybe their little comments, somebody might reach out to you. Somebody could reach out to you, Leo, talking about how much they miss you or not even that they miss you. Somebody might just check in on you and, and it may awaken some feelings that you haven't had to deal with in a little bit. And, um, you know, with the full moon energy, it's a perfect time for you to be like, well, what do I need to release? And that could be, um, that could be one of these things. Yeah. What's at the bottom of the deck for moonology again? A time to give rather than take. Okay. I just wanted to be sure. And beneath that is you're very close to achieving your goal. Yeah. So maybe you are presently in this energy of being publicly recognized in an energy of victory like you're doing well and I just heard seemingly so even if you're not Leo other people see you this way I mean that's your natural spark and your natural shine as a Leo as people look at you and they're always like Leo's got it made Leo's doing so well but truly right now I feel like Leo and you are doing well but there's like an energy of you maybe covering up an undercurrent an undercurrent of emotion so this could be like a little knock. And I know that there's been some wavering lately for Leos when it comes to confidence and self-esteem. And you don't wanna share that with everyone. Um, and you shouldn't have to share that with anyone. This could be just an internal struggle for some of you that you've been dealing with. And maybe that energy is creeping back up on you as we edge toward this full moon. So just remember that the root of this energy could be the habit of people pleasing or wanting people to to understand like how much you care but it's like if they don't get it leo you shouldn't have to be bending over backwards just to show them so i think that's why the queen of cups is here it's like emotionally managing and standing in your power as the queen of cups or king of cups if you're a masculine but like managing those emotions wisely some of you may also have small children that you're contending with um yeah, the Empress is your advice here. So there's, it's like, maybe you're just feeling a little bit, yeah, I feel like there's an energy of trying to show people that you've got everything under control. Maybe somebody's trying to criticize your mothering skills or your parenting skills for my um, fellas or just say that you're not doing enough. Like there could be people around you trying to imply that you're not doing enough. And that... I don't feel that's true. I feel like that's other people just expecting of you. And sometimes you have to put people in their place. Point blank, period. Sometimes you just have to put people in their place. And I feel like the death card is here because there's an end to that. Like you're not really allowing other people to run you. Um, whereas in the past, maybe you would have caved to that pressure of, oh, so-and-so thinks I'm not doing enough on this PTA committee or if you are of service, if you're volunteering somewhere and somebody's like, you're not doing as much as I would do if I were you, it's like, well, you're not me. And you don't have to explain yourself. Like if you're, if you're like, I've got X, Y, Z going on and this is what I can do right now, that's okay. It's like, you're still showing up and you're still doing the work, but I feel like there's energy around you. And of course this happens a lot to Leo's um, jealous energy 
or people just thinking that for whatever reason they can I'm getting like sun you like all these bitches is my sons like Nicki Minaj energy like trying to to face palm you or something <laughs> and it's it, that only comes from jealousy or people looking at you and comparing themselves to you and then seeing if they can add a little bit of weight to your plate but I feel like you're not really allowing that so that may be a side note for some Leos um, you're doing what you can do and that's fine so don't let this energy take hold of you with the four of cups here because I feel like there is no missed opportunity I'm not getting that energy I feel like it's outside energy pressing on you right now or pulling on you trying to make you feel a little bit like you could just be doing a little bit more Leo like you should have baked three batches of cookies but you only bought two and they weren't like the flavors that we usually have you know it's like somebody being really really petty um somebody just overstepping is what I feel and with the Queen of Cups I feel like you're doing a good job of not allowing that affect you even though like when you get a mosquito bite it's just a mosquito but still you've got that little red bump there that you're like ugh, it's gonna take a couple days for that sting to go away but it goes away and it's inconsequential right so I feel like you're in an energy of not letting that get to you and that's where you should be not letting those little things get to you or not letting that shade get to you um, because you live in the sunlight not in the shade all right the sun naturally shines on you you're all bronzy looking and fabulous and people just can't handle that sometimes and so they try their best to it makes them feel better to try to chip away at your confidence um, they may also be threatened by your physical appearance I'm getting lots of like sacral chakra solar plexus chakras like people immediately are threatened by your appearance and they connect that to your confidence as well so it's like well how can I make them feel a little bit less because when they walk in a room I feel less so don't take on other people's issues or their energy that's not personal to you Leo like it's really not and I feel like you are not doing that because the death is here it's like maybe in the past I would have let that control me or I would have been like oh my god she's right next time I am gonna bake five batches of cookies and they're going to be the best cookies this town has ever seen you know it's like you don't have to do all that because then you're giving into that pressure that other people are putting on you and you may be an excellent baker and if you have the time then okay and, and you want to do that okay but do it because you want to do it leo not because somebody else is trying to pressure you into feeling a certain way because of their own insecurities or whatever issue they were having that day when they saw you being your just normal fabulous leo self and decided to come at you that way it's not your problem standing your empress energy like continue to birth what you're doing um i feel like you are in in an energy of producing building nurturing whether it be a project whether it be children whether it be charity work i feel like you're doing a really good job um and so don't count yourself out or don't um wow this is a nice message i hope that this is hitting the right people or that whoever needs to hear this really hears it because i feel like somebody was like in an energy of almost counting themselves out or feeling like they should just pause or quit because of what other people were projecting projecting that's what i'm getting it's like an energy of projection but no you are the empress you are the emperor that's what i'm feeling here and i think that intimidates people whoever i'm talking to so you continue to be who you are and i feel like you're doing a great job of embodying emotional maturity as you do this so you're not like purposely crushing anyone's ego like they have their own issues to deal with and that's why it's projection and i feel like you're sailing away from allowing other people to control your emotions like that it's like it doesn't serve you i feel like you've already gone through enough experiences to know to kind of recognize when that's happening and so your advice is just to continue doing what you're doing with the empress card here and the outcome if you continue and don't give in to that energy that's trying to pull you down with the four of cups is the two of wands making plans going forward maybe some of you are in the process of building a website for something you could have created a new business some of you um i just felt like the energy of a clothes maker some of you could be designers um florists whatever it is that you're building it's like you're doing a really really good job and, and you're taking the next steps to build that business and continue 
Yeah. Continue. Don't let this put you in hangman energy or, or make you fall back from what you're doing. It's just somebody being a little bit jealous. And it's been a long road for you, Leo, for some of you, but I feel like you're doing a good job of going forward. Knight of Pentacles energy here. And if anyone's got an issue with that, you know, with your shine, it's just they're going to have to deal with it. That's not your problem. Look at the bigger picture. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a water sign, um, or you could have both that in your chart, but I feel like the bigger picture is <laughs> it's there's always going to be somebody around you who might want to chip away. Like they might want to to do that just because you shine you shine pretty brightly. Yeah, look what just came out here. The Emperor. Yes, and this is the card that I was picturing. It's like you're healing, you're being healed from those past situations. And there's just always going to be someone who, who might want to... <laughs> the sun is here. That's your energy again. So it's like somebody who, who sees you shining in this way and they just can't handle it. And so they do little things. But that, they'll get over it. They'll have to. A lot came out for you here. We have the lovers there. So it's like you're making a choice to move forward, to move on. Five of Cups, letting go of regrets, not allowing these things to keep you in the Four of Cups energy and get you down. You've worked too hard. The, the road has been pretty long for some of you and you're not allowing this to like affect you. You're cutting it out. So it's like I'm imagining a scenario where somebody does say that to you or they come up to you and be like, you know, the other mechanics... Uh, make sure that they buff the tires or some silly thing somebody's coming to you with, but you didn't buff the tire on that one spot there. Maybe you could get that better next time. And you're just like, sure, Jan, and you move on. You're not going to like sit there for the next 10 minutes and be like, oh my God, I didn't buff that spot on the tire the way the other mechanics did. Next time I have to show up two hours early. And it's like, no, no, you're just going to be like, okay, sure, Jan. King of Swords energy. And keep operating in your power for a swords because I mean for a wands because you're building a good life for yourself and I feel like maybe other people can see that and they don't want to see it it's like they just don't want to see it the star and the two of wands and sometimes maybe you can't see your own star power and the fact that sometimes you just carry a lot of positive energy with you and people see that and they want to compare with you and instead of just being honest and coming up to you and saying, wow, you're so cool. Like, you're just so magnetic, Leo. We like you. Maybe you could share with us how you do certain things. They will instead try to attack your confidence. That's, there's always going to be somebody like that. Thank God everyone is not like that, okay? Yeah, Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. This is the card that kind of wanted to come out when all those other ones flew out. So... This is like you're in this energy, so don't let anyone put you in this energy with the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Leo, because it's not worth it. And that if I'm getting like an illusion energy, it's like just somebody wants to mess with you a little bit, and I'm not even feeling like they're consciously doing it. This is just somebody who's a little affected by how great you are, and you're going to have to deal with that sometimes because you're a Leo, and that's the natural energy you carry. But that's what I have for you, Leo. So just keep going. Keep your head up. You're doing a really, really good job. Um, you're, you're deading situations that don't serve you, and that includes people's little snide comments. You're not letting it get, like, you're not letting it get you down. So excellent. Um, that's what I have for you for now. And until next time, I believe all is well, and I hope that you do too. Let's affirm that together. All is well. Bye, Leo.